We are here. Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Oh boy, I'm so excited. You know, this section right here is going to be pretty interesting to see what even spawns in because, uh, there's a, usually a whole bunch of, of those things that just grab onto you and, like, eat your face. Oh, okay. I'll just get assaulted real quick. Oh, my game is lagging like crazy. Or, sorry, my frames are dropping like crazy. You know what? I would have rather the, uh, would have rather the carrying night set, but, you know, what take what we can get. Bloodhound Knight armor. Okay, you know what? You know what? Just give me the entire Bloodhound Knight set, and then I'll be happy. I was going through some of the uh, some of the audio again. Shockingly, I know, very surprising. But man, I don't know what it is. But like, it either sounds like dog shit, sounds completely fine, or it just like cuts out at the most random times possible. Man, I tell you, it's kind of kind of annoying. I can't lie. I'll just be sitting here saying something. And I just gotta hope that my mic is picking it up properly. I don't really know what the dealio is there, but I prefer if that shit did not happen. I guess uh, Two Mad's gotten himself into some, you know, murky waters. I don't really know the entire situation. But I heard he was making a joke and it was like about some 16 year old girl that ended up dying. I don't know if that was the main point of the joke, but uh, he ended up making a joke about this girl who ended up dying. And he didn't know that, apparently. Or maybe he didn't know that. I really don't even know. But he ended up saying, like, oh, we only had the picture saved on my phone because I thought she was hot. And the next thing you know, comes out that she's a 16-year-old trans girl. And it's like, oh. Man, too mad. You just, you gotta, like, shut your mouth sometimes, big man. Because you just be getting yourself into some shit, huh? And I guess even some of his fans are like, bro, you gotta take this situation way more seriously. Because, like, I don't know much about too mad, but, uh, I feel like he just doesn't take shit seriously. Not that that's a bad thing. But... You know, some situations you just gotta take seriously because there were some uh, reports or some allegations that came out against him that, uh, you know, that he was out here sexually advancing on girls that didn't really want to do that. And, you know, I get, you know, not being serious about stuff. I get that. But, I mean, some stuff you gotta be serious about because, like, if some shit like this came out about me or, like, anybody I know, we'd be handling that shit ASAP. Word to my man Rocky. Maybe hand on that as soon as it happened, because anything like that can ruin someone's life. Not even just career, but ruin someone's ruin someone's life. I mean, there's just certain things that you just you have to take seriously, whether you want to or not. So like, even his own fans are like, bro, you gotta take this more seriously because we don't know if you're innocent or not. We don't know if they're lying about you or not, and you're not making it any easier to decipher if you're actually innocent or not. Briar Gauntlets, yeah, Elmer can go fuck himself. I don't want any of his armor in my inventory. Law of Regression. Oh boy, I can continue Gold Mask's quest. Oh my god, I'm ecstatic. But I hope he's innocent, just because then hopefully nobody would have been harmed in this entire situation. And being accused of the things he's being accused of is uh, pretty serious, and you think that he would, you know, take it more serious, but I don't know. We all have different ways of handling things, but I will say I think that some ways in this situation are better than others. Like, there are just some things that you have to address the second it happens. Whether you want to or not. And you have to address it in a serious manner, whether you want to or not. Alright, first uh first boss of Ray Lucaria. I'm feeling hmm, I'm feeling Radagon for whatever reason. What the fuck am I looking at? Oh. Hi Godfrey. Hi Godfrey, how are you? I'm normal. I shouldn't have did that. I shouldn't have did that. Why do I just Why do I do this to myself? I'll be very mad at myself if I don't beat this first try because I should, but I just be getting greedy sometimes. That's just awful timing. Alright, enough tomfoolery. Alright, let's go. I, like, bro. The fact that I didn't beat that first try, is, that's, that's bad. That's very bad. I need to do better. Oh, buddy, you don't want me squaring off with you. Can I move? Oh, I didn't get hit by that. Huge. Yeah, you don't want to see square off, buddy. You don't want to see it. He's going to ruin your life. Much like drugs. Or like really hardcore drugs. I don't know. Oh, no. And dodge. Trap B button. My B button's throwing the game. Hold on. Nice try, Godfrey. The fact I didn't beat that first try is so embarrassing. Like, actually. Golden seed. You know what? We'll take those. Second try though, can't be mad at that. As long as it didn't take more than three, we were fine. But, man, 
I how do I die to the shadow of Godfrey? That's that's tough, man. That's so tough. But we're almost through Ray Lucaria already. I mean I think I'm gonna explore this entire area, obviously. Like I've been doing this entire series, but we're already almost done with it. So hopefully this episode isn't nearly as long as the other ones, because I was editing the last one and that shit came out to over an hour. I wouldn't even watch that whole shit. So I can't even blame anybody for not wanting to watch that whole thing. An hour? That's crazy. And that's why I would definitely watch my own video for an hour. I would definitely do that. And definitely appreciate it if other people did. But, you know, it is what it is. I can't force people to do anything. Nor would I want to be able to force people to do anything. Big money? Yep, that's just pennies, really. That's pocket change. But I was editing that video. And the fact that it came out to over an hour long. That shit was... Uh, that was nuts. I think that's like... That's either the first or the second video that I've ever made that's over an hour long. I can't remember if my Call of Duty tier list is over an hour or not. I don't remember. But if it is over an hour, then that's the second video I've made that's, you know, over an hour. If it's not, then it's the first video I made that's over an hour. So, I guess it's the first time for everything. I wasn't really planning for it to be over an hour either. Because I'm to this point with these recordings where in the first episode I was mentioning how I had like an excess amount of recordings. And how I was like, you know, kind of slacking on my editing. Now I have to play to keep up with my editing. So, I mean, that's, that's kind of a, kind of a W for me. I didn't think I'd ever get to that point. So that Liernia video was like three or four different recordings. And I was sitting there like during each recording being like, oh, this video isn't going to be that long. And next thing you know, it ends up being like one of the longest videos on my channel, which is nuts. And it's the longest video of this series so far, at least. And I don't think that this video will be near that. At least I don't plan on it. Oh, fuck me. <sighs> no, dude, bro, like, fucking leave me alone. I just want whatever items up here. You know, be out of your way, brother. Okay, can we uh, just not hit me every two seconds? That'd be great. Oh, I didn't even check if we could level up. I should probably do that. I really should upgrade my Vigor. Not Vigor, because that's hard out we to use those. But, man, I you know what? I'm gonna. Because I think I'm actually just gonna respec after I beat whatever boss said run all so I gotta get my health up. I think we get to, like, 25. I usually finish the game with, like, I think 35, 40? Some, somewhere around there. Purple. Purple rain. That's that's about a 4 out No, that's like a 3 out of 10. That shit don't even look nice. Oh, hello, guys. Okay, I'll just go fuck myself. Uh, bro, like yelling at me will not hurt me. We've been over this before multiple times. I'm rolling, taking advantage of my iframes. Oh my god. It's a billy goat. Actually, what is that? Some kind of goat, I don't know. Must be Kanye. I could have sworn there's an item over here. Huh. Maybe I'm tripping off the perkies or something. Who knows? He can't even trip on perkies. What am I talking about? I just don't think he can. I don't know. I don't do drugs like that. I'm a clean little boy. Ain't gonna spawn or what? Huh. Might have just played the randomizer from now on because that marble ball b bullshit is like really annoying. Huge. And there's like three purples on here, so one of these better be good. Uh, you know, we'll take those. I don't have any great runes yet, which is kind of worrying because I have it set to where I need two great runes to enter, uh, uh, Landale, and I have none. So, uh, yeah. That's kind of terrifying. And not good. In fact, I would say that that's pretty bad, actually. Oh, it's you again, you fucking bastard. Come here. I'm gonna heal just so I don't, you know, get one tapped, and you're dead. Look at that. You ain't shit. Take that fucking bird nest off around your neck. Goofy. Oh, I got a rock. I'm gonna just go open this door. Then we got a shortcut. Look at me out here advancing through the game. How how proud. I'm so proud of myself. Hi, jellyfish. Jellyfish, you know what? That's my bad. I'll let you go first. That's my bad. Why can't every enemy just be a jellyfish? Jellyfish and turtles, man. I'm gonna piss off this knight, but you know, it is what it is. As long as he doesn't kill me, I don't care. I know you ain't gonna follow me over here. Oh my god. Yeah, get fucked, moron. Humans prevail once again. So I knew he was gonna charge attack me. And I knew he wasn't gonna jump up on the ledge. So if he did charge attack me, he was gonna fall to his death. God, it is just so rewarding being a genius human being. At least I can only imagine it is. I only died once to Godfrey. And, uh, yeah, only once to Godfrey. I'm kind of flying through this. I'm not really killing anything. I'm just kind of running through and grabbing the items, but... To be fair, uh, if I tried to kill anything that was around that gargoyle, I was gonna get fucking bent over. So, that would've been the next big thing in the porn industry. 
Oh, chesty poo. Give me something goody poo. And it's a comedy poo. And wow. That's about the worst thing you could have given me poo. But it's definitely not going to be Ranala. I'm going to go. I'm going to go with Radagon. I'm going to go with Radagon again. Because eventually one of these times I'm going to be right about it being Radagon. And if I switch it up, I know it's going to be Radagon. So if I just say Radagon for all of them, I'll be right. Oh. Well, uh, well that's not Radagon. I'm gonna take a guess and I'm gonna say this is a stell. Okay, you're like just too big for this arena, but that should be a good thing for me actually, because then that means you won't teleport. Or oh, never mind. I'll just go fuck myself, I guess. Gee, I wonder where he's going. That okay. What? I swear if this kills me, man. Okay, thank God. Oh, I just realized I gotta get this phase over with like with as many flasks as possible. Oh my god, I always think that attack is the one where he slams on the ground. Oh, like this one. Never mind, I'll just go fuck myself. What? Dude, all these look the same in this small ass arena. Well, I, uh, I wonder where he's going. Holy shit, Harry Houdini. It's actually you. Uh... Oh, oh, this is gonna be very bad. Oh, I got out of it. Huge. What? Wait, what? Okay, this is the one where he stomps on the ground. There we go. Oh, I'll just go fuck myself, I guess. Okay, you know, this is just a practice run. This is just a practice run. What is he doing? How are you not... Okay, thank you. I was gonna say, how are you not staggered? I mean, at least we got to the first... I mean, uh, second phase, first try. I have one singular heal, which I'm actually just gonna use right now for the light rolls. We're gonna be here for a long time. Yeah, we're gonna be here for a long time. Long, long time. Long time, long time. Shout out to Playboy Cardi. Actually, uh, no. No shout out to Playboy Cardi. Because I saw a clip on Twitter of him being a dickhead to Nardwar, Nardwar. And I'm not really vibing with that. So, Cardi, once you refine your actions, I'll say shout out to Playboy Cardi. But until you apologize to Nardwar and give him a good interview, I'm not. I don't care. I do not care. No shout out for you. Honestly, if I can just get through the first phase and, like, actually recognize when he's going to do that attack where he puts his orbs into the ground. I'll be fine, because that's the only thing that really messed me up. And I'm usually pretty decent at the Estelle fight. Not great, but decent. That's a pretty interesting combo, though. Estelle and Morgoth? It's kind of interesting. I wish Morgoth would be first, honestly, because I need as many heals as I can for him. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I do have this, and I know it says Moog Shackle, but since they're both omens, they actually both work on each other. And just to prove it, I'm going to use it in this fight. Just to prove it. Just to prove my advanced Elden Ring knowledge. I'm gonna prove that it works. God, I'm gonna look like a fucking moron if this doesn't work. Because I actually don't know if this works or not. Well, shit, man. When you're phasing through the fucking arena, it's pretty hard to hit you. Ooh. Overhead slam. Bitch. Ooh. Right in the chrome dome. Ooh, get fucked, moron. Can I, can I move? Can I move? Wow, that's very unfortunate. Oh, never mind. That could have been very unfortunate, I meant to say. Alright, tomorrow I got time here, pussy. I wanna see if this works. I'm like 99% sure it doesn't work. It doesn't work. I look like a moron. His poise is usually pretty low, though, so I should be able to hit him with square off a couple times. And what? Dog, that timing does not feel right. This ain't no boss fight. This is just him having his way with me. Okay, dog. Like, how would you just go fuck yourself? It's pretty crazy how you keep defending this throne and nobody loves you. That's crazy. That could not be me. That's all I gotta say. Get your fucking life in order, dumbass. I can't him. Okay, that was kind of cool though, I'll give you that. That was kind of cool. Yeah, go eat shit, fucking loser. Nice, man. Dog, the fact that people play this game for fun is crazy to me. Yeah, come follow me. Idiot. Alright, so we made some adjustments to the talismans here. I ended up replacing two of them. What are you doing? Man, he's trying to face fuck me. Hey, hey, no, where are you going? I didn't say you could leave. Alright, Estelle is down. 
I repeat, Estelle is down. I genuinely thought he was done attacking, but I forgot Morgoth doesn't like to be done attacking. He's done whenever he says he's done. Are you done? No? Okay. Now you're done. Okay, bro. Like, eat shit, man. Dog, like, you dodge better than me, bro, and you're an AI. Yeah, get fucked, moron. Hi, friend. That's not hitting me. Oh, you're not attacking me because it wasn't on top of you. That's silly of me. Come on. I know you want to attack me. Alright, back up, back up, back up, back up. Alright, if I can do this maneuver right, we should be fine. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Huge. Alright, I have to capitalize on this run. I have to. I'm just going for it. Huge. What? No. No, please. Just don't kill me. Just please don't kill me. Please. Thank you. Now stay away from me, you pervert. Unless you're EDP, then I guess it would make sense for you to come towards me. That is bullshit. Got him. I panicked there at the end. I can't even lie. I was panicking, but... Panicking, flanking. Needs more napkins. Oh, I got a great ring. Huge. So I can respect now. And I got a shit ton of smithing stones and a golden seed. Man, life's just good. Life's good. Shout out to that Drake song. Is that even what that song's called? Now I gotta look it up. Yep, it is. Oh, life is good. Sorry. I'm not really up to my Drake lore. My bad. So I think I'm gonna respect and I'm gonna meet the bare requirements for, uh, for Hannah Melania. I'm kind of, hmm, I don't really know if I should do that. Because then that means we have, like, no health at all. But yeah, messing with those talismans actually helped. I switched out, where was it? I switched out these two. I switched out Godfrey icon because I wasn't using uh, Square off that much. And I took this one off because it uh, increased my damage taken. And this one does as well. This one also increases your damage taken. But it ups all my stats to the point where it doesn't really matter that I'm taking more damage. And then this one, I just wanted more defense to kind of negate that uh, more damage thing. 48 dex. God, that's actually insane. Like, I'm gonna see what my stats look like if I get to, what was it, 48 decks? Is that what I need? I'm gonna look at my stats and what I have left is, and see if I can even rock with that. So, 48. <laughs> yeah, um, kinda can't do that. Kinda, kinda can't do that. The long sword has gotten us this far. I think we might just have to stick with it. But once I get, like, enough levels, I'll, I'll make sure to switch over to Hannibal Melania. I just need, like, at least a little bit more levels to get my Vega to 25. I'm pretty proud of that Morgoth fight. I'm pretty proud of that. I, I panicked there at the end. Like I said, I was panicking, flanking. Needed a little bit more napkins. But, you know, overall, pretty good fight. Can't be mad. Can't be mad at that performance. Oh, I did that. Oh, Lord. Like, see that noise I just made? That, oh, Lord. That's the type of audio that just, like shits the bed and just cuts out and sounds like shit oh a legendary hell yeah it's usually a uh, smithing stone four so uh yeah you want to know how i know it's a smithing stone four because i played through this game eight times and i never knew how to get over there until like my seventh playthrough and that's not how you get over there that's typically what happens when you fall to your death and that's not really what you want to do what you want to do is land on the edge of that building and then proceed across the rooftops like you're Batman. And then there's going to be a ladder you're going to climb. And then it's all going to be all well and dandy. But what I just did, you don't want to do that. Can you move, man? Like, I, I don't really want to see your dick and balls in my face. At least not yet. I mean, I get it. It's Pride Month, but uh, I'm still not all about that. There's some, like, uh, air quality alerts that I've been getting on my phone. Because where I live, the uh, people, you know, geologically above us... Uh, they had some wildfires and all that like uh, that smoke and that you know not good shit is in the air and it's coming down to us I'm not really sure if I'm a fan of that. It smelled so bad when I went outside yesterday it Smelled like you know burning trees obviously because it's a wildfire But I was like damn who's burning whose house is on fire and no uh, nobody's house was on fire It was just you know a whole different country you know doing chemical warfare on us 
we usually get like air quality alerts like not all the time but sometimes and usually you can't really tell the difference the air is usually you know pretty quality and uh, but this time you could tell considering that the whole sky had a different tint to it so that was kind of that was kind of interesting but i spend 90 percent of my day inside so that doesn't really affect me unless we go and play basketball but clearly we're not playing basketball when the whole sky is gray so so here's your little real life update big money not big money but there's big money on this rooftop over here hopefully at least wait where is it there it is all right holy father god above please allow this item to be worthy of being placed in my inventory all glory all praise to the god above amen yeah get fucked more god yeah get fucked buddy i found you i found your remembrance on top of a roof after i beat you get fucked moron serving bullets yeah it's a little bull -lo 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 shit all right, let's see if this is going to be another academy key for our boy. Nope, it's a painting. I'm sure he'll love that just as much. Wow, this is way less annoying than that page that shoots uh, three shots at you. Anybody who plays this game knows that that triple shot fire arrow is some of the most annoying things to deal with in this game. And I really should turn requirements off to use certain weapons and uh, incantations and spells and stuff. Like, I thought originally it was just going to be for people who just didn't want to meet requirements to use, like, faith stuff or like sorceries but man uh like 48 you know dexterity for a weapon i just can't afford to do that right now 48 that's literally all but three of my points i can't be doing that not, not yet at least oh my god a penguin let's call him a pigeon or is that a duck i think that's a duck my bad, brother. Didn't mean to misgender you like that. But I'm gonna just go see if we can upgrade our longsword at all. And then after that, I think I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna try and keep this episode shorter. Or at least I hope. Alright, so that's like a F tier. That's like a C tier. That's an F tier. That's like a D tier. That's an F tier. That's an F tier. And that's a... Well, actually, I feel like that sword is probably pretty good. I remember, uh... Asma gold rocked that thing all throughout uh, Dark Souls 1 and it was kind of insane But I feel like they probably had to have nerfed it into the ground by now, right? Rejection much like what I feel in real life probably F tier Claw marks he was actually pretty good. Prayful strike The best ash of war in the game. I don't care what anybody says. It would honestly be worth a remembrance item It's so good. So good uh, Parry shield mid primal glintstone blade less than mid so um yeah, that was a waste of time. Plus, what well, is that? Plus 13 or 14? Plus 13. All right, huge. So, uh, next episode, we should be exploring Altus Plateau. And Altus Plateau is massive, so I'm probably going to split that into two episodes because, man, there's a lot to do in the Altus Plateau. That's where we're going to call it. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, you can press the buttons to help out the channel. You've seen a YouTube video before, I'm not going to tell you what to do. But, you know, press the buttons to, for the algorithm, right? Help, help a brother out. But, yeah, that should be about it. I'll uh, see you guys in my next video. Peace.